Here's what happens when you don't rest your steaks. I'm taking these regular old Wagyu's and seasoning with salt and Italian pepper. And then I just cook them over my Bluetooth induction burner. I start it super high, but then lower it to medium heat so they cook more gently. Three minutes on the first side and then flip it over three minutes on the other side. I highly recommend that you reverse sear or double sear your steaks, but I think most people are probably cooking it like this at home. This first steak hasn't rested at all and we're gonna cut right into it, which honestly hurts. First thing you notice is that it's bleeding everywhere. Not literal blood, but all that juice. You never want to see juices on your board because that makes your steak a lot tougher because it's less juicy. Second is that the ends are super overcooked. When it rests, the whole steak will be much more even. Huge, well done gray band and then an undercooked center. The second steak has been resting for seven minutes and then when I cut into it, you can see a dramatic difference. The whole steak from head to tail is much more even and then the gray band is minimal too. And even more important than that, all those juices are going to stay inside your wad of meat. 